What's up, welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. Today we're gonna find out if Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix has what it takes to protect an iPhone 6S. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. So, we're going to try cutting a little hole, if you will, inside of this Harry Potter book. I love Harry Potter. So, I feel very, like, dagger in the heart. Oh my god, I can't believe we're doing this. But, we're totally gonna do it for the sake of science. Gotta find out how well this book can protect an iPhone. <laughs> my childhood! <laughs> I was 21 when I read these. <laughs> this is gonna take forever with this dull knife, so we're gonna go get an exacto knife. Okay, here we go. Now these are the knives I'm talking about. Something like this, because then you can break off the blade if you need to, get a new fresh blade. All right, we're gonna roll with this guy. So we've got a knife now. <laughs> All done, I think. Let's test it out. Here we go. Putting the iPhone in. Is it gonna be wide enough? Okay, it's not quite good enough. We gotta go do something here. See, that's the problem right there. When we cut it, it was at an angle, so we gotta do some extra cuts here to straighten this out. All right, let's try again. That is fitting more snugly for sure. That's awesome. You can't even tell there's an iPhone inside there now. So maybe just like one little piece of tape right here? Yeah, just something to keep the book closed as it, as it drops. I think otherwise it's totally just gonna fall out. Definitely. Like most likely. All right, so we're gonna secure this just a little bit better with some tapey. Do that all the way down to that. All right, so we went ahead and put a little layer of tape along this edge to keep the book from popping open on the way down. Do you think it will survive? Let's hear some opinions around here. Darren, what do you think? I think so, probably. Yes. I think Harry will probably manage, unless it lands like I think on one of these corners, in which case the uh, iPhone could slip out and impact the concrete directly. DJ, what do you think? Nope. DJ is thinking Harry Potter ain't got a chance. All right, so, what do you think? Vote in the top right corner. Here we go, let's go to the drop site. So we actually drop tested this thing once already, but we lost the clip, so we're refilming today. Uh, as you can see, the book is just a little bit damaged. We have a different iPhone in here. No spoilers on whether it survived or not. Post your opinion again, whether you think it'll survive. Let's get to the drop test right now. Here we go. Okay, we're ready to go. In three, two, one, boom. Sorry about the delay. <laughs> oh, dang, it held together much better than last time. I wish you could see the last hit. Uh, Cause the, the book flopped crazy open. So I'm very interested to see if that survived. All right, let's take a look at the phantom footage. Here comes the impact and car crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> the book just wobbles like crazy. The flip, the jump, the dive, the land, the second impact, the floppy floppy. That was awesome. All right, let's check out the results. So we've got the top tape broke, the bottom tape broke, but this double layer of tape held pretty good. The book is actually in surprisingly good condition. I was expecting a lot more damage, like. Like this book looks like it was maybe read and dropped a couple times and yeah, like that's impressive. All right, so let's go ahead and just pop this tape off. Just like that. And dun dun dun. Looks like the iPhone is just fine. Let's oh yeah, the screen's working. Check that out. I'm really impressed, holy crap. So I'm actually a huge Harry Potter nerd. I played Quidditch in college. I was Ravenclaw team captain. I even have a shirt for it. 
Anyway, I'm rereading the series and I've just been enjoying the audiobook so much on this tour. We're going across America right now from Chicago, Denver, New York, not in that order, Orlando, back to Houston, and we've just been listening to audiobooks like crazy. An audiobook is my personal favorite way to experience a book because you get the voice actor and the inflection and the accents. It's just a really cool experience. One great way to get access to audiobooks is audible.com. They have a massive selection including all the books of Harry Potter. So if you want to get started on the Harry Potter series for free, go to audible.com slash gizmo for your free trial today. So if you've already read Harry Potter and you want to sink your teeth into another great fantasy series, you should go check out the Mistborn trilogy. It's got some great characters, a great villain, very very intriguing magic system and very unique fantasy world. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Brandon Baldwin, out. It's incoming right there. Oh, Boom. wow. <laughs> One.